Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my Left 4 Dead 2 mapping tutorial series. Um, in part 4, we're going to talk about the basics to nav meshes. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we need to load our map, which for me is tutorial 04. This is just a clone of 03. Go on ahead and load it real quick. Alright. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to stop director, even though we have no nav meshes, so director's really not running. But uh, this will be good for later on. NB, the next thing we need to do is we need to clear any uh, straggling zombies that director spawned, assuming you're adding a pre existing uh, map that already has nav meshes, as well as get rid of the annoying AI. Okay. Then all we have to do is enter nav. Uh, the navigate nav bleh, sorry the nav edit mode so nav underscore edit one we are now in nav navigation mesh edit mode as you can see with the plus sign cursor all right so now we need to set a few keys to bind the first thing we're going to bind and i'm going to bind it to n is no clip you can set these binds to any keys you feel comfortable with Alright, the second bind we're going to do is to I. This is, this uh, will place a walkable point, which we will use to, these. this will define areas that are walkable. So I'm going to no clip. I'm going to place one in this room. Oops. Did not mean to do that. That'd be okay. Place one in here. Place one in here, in here, and one up here. Oops. All right. So once you have any everywhere you wanted to place all your walkable point, walk, uh, sorry, walkable areas, nav underscore generate incremental. This will generate all the nav meshes. And as you can see, they are now currently all selected. All right. I'm going to deselect them with nav underscore clear selected set. That deselects all selective nav meshes. And I'm also going to set that up as a bind for Y. All right. And now we need to set up another bind for selecting nav meshes. So nav underscore toggle in underscore selected set. And as you can see, we can now select all areas. Wherever, whichever nav mesh we're pointing at, when we hit T, we can select it. All right. So before we go about uh, marking our nav meshes, Let's uh, go over and do a nav split over here. And I'm going to bind nav split to you. All right, as you can see, I split the nav mesh in half. All right, so now let's go on ahead and set up our markable points. Uh, what I mean is uh, you can mark a nav mesh, like for instance we mark this one as finale and now when all survivors are here the match will have been won. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the nav meshes in this room. Type mark, player start, and as you can see all of these points are marked as player start. So now director knows that this is a starting room and it won't put any zombies in here. Uh, we'll talk about other navigational points, uh, mark points later. Um, oh, another thing I should mention is you may not be seeing player start. What you want to do is do Z underscore debug and set it to one and then you'll see that the markable points. All right. Another thing 
Uh, if you want to clear an attribute, just put your cursor over whichever nav mesh you want to clear the attribute, or select them, and then just do clear attribute player start. As you can see, the attribute has been removed from that nav mesh. All right. So now we can go on ahead and get out of nav editing. No, wait, one second. I'm going to turn debug off. And now we're going to save the nav mesh. The nav underscore analyze. All right. This will compile the nav navigational mesh. All right. Now I'm going to exit nav mode. All right. And now, as you can see, the nav meshes are working and the bots are following us. All right. Now, while we can climb these ladders, the bots can't. And they just kind of run away. All right. So, let's go on ahead and delete them. Go back in nav editing. All right, now select point on our ladder. All right, with our ladder, with our cursor on our ladder, do nav underscore build ladder. And now the points will be connected. And I will also talk about connecting nav meshes in a later on tutorial. Alright, so go on ahead and save our nav mesh again. Go on ahead and analyze our map. Alright. I'm going to exit nav editing. Turn debug off. And I'm going to reload our map. All right, make sure director's on. And we now have zombies who will chase us. All right, this concludes our tutorial on basic navigation meshes. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you.